Alright, what is up Geek fans? This is Gibson here. Just want to quickly make this video to share with you guys essential tips to make your experience with the MSI Claw 8 better. This is going to be a quick one, so let's start with number one. First thing first, when you receive the device, you will want to make sure to update everything inside the Windows update. And make sure to check for updates. All the updates right here are very important to the stability of your device. So you want to make sure that everything inside here is updated. Also, you want to check out MSI Claw Center M. You want to make sure to visit News and Update. You want to come here to the Update part and scan. The MSI Center M will make sure that you have all the newest BIOS, all the newest firmwares, and all the newest drivers that are important for your device. And lastly, you want to make sure to keep everything inside the Microsoft Store up to date. You will want to visit Download and click on Get Updates. And you want to make sure that everything inside the Microsoft Store are updated. Tip number two, the Intel graphics software is not installed by default. You want to get this driver from the Intel website. You want to search for Intel Arc driver. Alright, and you want to check out the Intel Arc and Iris XE graphics windows. I'll also leave the link inside the description so you can check out the description and download the latest driver from Intel from right there. Also, when you start the installer, make sure to choose to clean install the driver. That way, it will make sure that all the previous driver will be all cleaned up and the new driver will be installed. Tip number three. So, once you start using your MSI Claw 8 device, you might be noticing that the MSI Center is not working properly. It will freeze up most of the times and there's a workaround for that. You want to type in search for MSI Center M and you want to choose the app's settings. And you want to make sure that the let this app run in the background is selected to always. All right. You want to make sure to do the same for game bar as well. So you want to select app settings and let the system component run in background. You want to select always. This will make sure that the MSI Center M and the quick settings will always run in the background. They will not take up a lot of resources. This will just make sure that they will be up and running. And according to my experience, they will tend to freeze much less than before. Let's get to tip number three. The MSI Claw will come with user scenario. Here you can adjust the TDP. You are given options between AI engine, endurance, and manual. I've tried all of them and I must say that manual TDP is the most predictable when it comes to gaming performance. You want to make sure to select the proper wattage based on the game you play. For example, I always start with 17 watts and if the game runs perfectly fine, I will just keep using 17 watts for that game. But if you feel like you need to bump up the performance of the device, you can just choose 30 watts and you can just make sure to use 30 watts for that game. So half of my games run fine on 17 watts and about half of them will require me to select 30 watts. For example, Monster Hunter Wilds will run best on 30 watts and I can do perfectly fine with The Witcher 3 on 17 watts. All right, so tip number five, you want to search for core isolation. And you want to make sure to turn off the memory integrity. So memory integrity is not something that is very crucial for a gaming device. If you want the best performance for gaming, uh, it is recommended to turn this thing off. Shout out to Ancient Gamer. He's doing a very extensive comparison between having memory integrity on and off. So you can check out his video in the description. So you want to do this with a bit of caution. If you are planning to use this as a working device, then you might want to keep the memory integrity on. But if you are using the MSI Claw 8 purely for gaming, then it is better to turn this thing off. Tip number six, you will notice that out of the box, the MSI Center M is not very attractive. You will be greeted with default icons and backgrounds. There's a way to change that. You go to game profile and you will be given an option to change the game cover and background. And finding those images are not difficult at all. You want to visit this, the website Steam Grid database. I will leave the link in the description as well. Within this website, you will find a lot of images from Steam games, right? For example, you want to search for Stalker. And from here, you can select View Original Steam Assets. You will see that the default header image, the default hero image 
is available for you to download and you can use them to make the MSI Center M look more attractive. All right, so tip number seven, use the controller hotkey. Within the MSI Center M, you see that there is a control mode and select from here the combination keys. You will see the list of the combination keys available. These are very handy. What I use quite a lot is show desktop. So you can press M1 or M2 then left to go back to desktop, just like that. There are a lot of hotkeys that are very useful. For example, you can take screenshot using M1 and A, and there are a lot more guidelines that you can find within these combination keys within the MSI Center M. All right, and last but not least, using hibernation. So if you are new to handheld, you might not know that sleeping is not best for handheld gaming because there can be unexpected result. But using hibernation, it will always give you a consistent result and you can always get back in the game. You want to search power and you want to go inside the power action settings. And from here, you want to go to the lit power and sleep button controls. From here, you want to select hibernate for pressing the power button will make my PC. So this will make sure that when you press that button, the device will go into hibernation. That means the device will shut down, but all the memory within the RAM will be transferred onto SSD. And when you wake the device up, all the memories will be transferred back from SSD into the RAM, and you will just continue where you left off with the game. Also, you wanna select hibernate for pressing the power button on battery as well. And that's it guys. Those are eight useful tips for the MSI Claw. I hope you guys find these tips useful, and I'll see you geeks in the next one. Peace out.